Hello. What? Who you're expecting? Obama? Well, sorry. No. It's just me. Donny Cat Jr. Here with a guide. So, I actually know. Bleh. I know the magic trick. So, basically, we have a timer that's going off right now, um, and if we don't get enough fish for this old dying man, um, he'll, he'll die, which is, you know, not very good. So, um, you have to wait for him to do that. Uh, so... If you find any really slow fish, um, you, uh, have to talk to him again. So, ooh, that's good. Yeah, so, get over here, come on, <sighs> really, get over here, there you go, um, if I fail this, you better bet I'm going to, um, try again, so, basically, also, there are, like, specific NPC interaction things or whatever, that mean that um, some of these fish that are going really slow near like the water Ooh. come back over here go come my grandpa is dying okay I can't remember but anyways so here's a good fish So, the better the fish, the more he survives. I could probably have grabbed that fish, but whatever. Oof. Yeah, so basically, you do this for until he gets better. If you do not get good fish and you give them bad fish or you just don't do the right things, then he dies. And then you go on to a raft that he made and you sail off in the great big sea. <sighs> so either way, you, um, you get out of here, but really I think you'd just be sad if he died, so, um, the game was like, okay, okay, your grandpa won't die, but you have to save him by feeding him fish. Obviously, I'm not getting good fish, RNG. Oh, and now I am, okay, right after I say I'm not. <laughs> Also, you know, sprint shoes help. <clears throat> there we go. So now he's starting to get better. And, okay, wow, where was this fish RNG earlier? Um, so yeah, in a speed run, there'd be like an optimal strat, and you'd have to make sure that you don't run to the bird. Um, but this isn't a speed run, if you couldn't tell. Um, so... I'm just going as fast as I can. I took a slight break for one day to do some schoolwork. But now I'm back and better than mom. Not really better, just I read a little more of the Shield Hero Light Novel. See, 
Now, don't be scared with the next line that he's gonna say. If I can actually get better fish. Here we go. Um, the next line that he's about to say, hopefully, this line, that just means that you are about to heal him completely. Oh, this fish is gonna do it. It's gonna kill him, no. <laughs> oh god, I wouldn't wish that. Um, so, yeah. That line, like, ah, oh, dear, I won't be around long. That means that you are very, very close to being able to heal him completely. Or, well, I mean, still gonna die someday, but for now, his mortality isn't as much of an issue. So, we go in here, and please let this be the final fish. Here we go. So, he gets up, and he's like, and I'm like, what's up? Sears, the project that, the project that has kept me going for over the past year is down below. Go have a look at it. So, inside these stairs is said raft. Granddad, Sears, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know, but I'll bring them all back to meet you. That are Sen fellow, no, too, no doubt. Mm hmm So, um, due to a little bug, we actually gain the equipment of one of the Moogles that we fought with when we were protecting Harpy G earlier in the game. It's just a bug, so now we have a buckler and a boomerang, all for free, yay! Anyway, so we leave Sid to sit on an island, hoping that he will not die while we're out and about. Okay, so we wash up here, and I suggest you immediately equip her. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm not going to put spread shoes on her. She'll get two earrings. Um, she'll get the optimal equipment. And she'll get espers. She hasn't been studying many, so here we go. Unicorn. Yep. So, um, Sears, she, um... So, um, the entire world is different now, so let's head over to the new location of, well, okay, so, um, Linaris and her Osprey. Um, let's see. That's obviously not going to be there. Luna Wolf, um, they... Yeah, they can, you know, get punched. Um, Osprey, or Rook, 
Um, it'll use Shim Sham and break on you. So, you know, don't do anything stupid. So, um, we... So, we surmise that we've got to punch these things. Now, we only have one weak, tiny little baby girl in our party, so, um... Let's use the one thing that this weak little baby girl can do. Magic! Um... Kill that thing. Trust me, we'll, getting, we'll be getting a party back together. But for now, we have to deal with the fact that Sears is going to die pretty quickly. All these monsters are taking a very heavy toll on our health. Anyways, so, Albrook. Um, yeah, it looks like this now. I mean, if things weren't bad already, it's been a year and they still can't, you know, patch up walls, so, you know, ugh. So, as you can see, or if you couldn't see before, um, the world sucks now, and there's still some symbolization, but everyone's pretty sad, so there are no the wenches dancing in the cafe. Really, no one here at all. Um, by the way, now that everyone's... Well, okay, now that this is a new area, you can get another elixir from the clock, which is apparently where elixirs come from. See when, a, see when it hits half past twelve, exactly on the 7th of October, they create new elixir babies. Um, of course, 300 GP. I have a lot of it, but we're going to use a lot of it too, so eh, it's worth it, I guess. So, oof, sorry. Um, I might buy some sleeping bags while I'm here, and also, you know, speed up, because since I don't have sprint shoes, everything's gonna be going pretty slowly. By the way, the ports are, like, you know, useless now. Those guys are burning stuff. Um, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna buy some sleeping bags. Not too many. I don't use them a lot, and once we get a tent, or once we get our next person. So, now that everything's been mixed around terribly, we're gonna go to three different towns. Vector, Miranda, and Zen, which you may realize are towns that used to be nowhere near each other. In fact, if I have the map, um, uh... Uh, Miranda used to be on the southern continent. Um, Zen also used to be on the southern continent, up at the top. Miranda was at the bottom. And Vector was also in the southern continent. As you can see, the southern continent is here. But I forgot to mention that Albrook, which was also on the southern continent, still down so basically we are where the bottom of to the right over here well over here would have been like this dividing line would have been the little material out camp like river 
that the military, the military outpost would have been up here, which, as you can see, now that the world has changed, there's a path. Um, so yeah, so now that I can't use the world of balance, we'll be going to. We'll be going to the world of rain. Um, I'm sorry, the world of ruin. So right now we are at, ta-da, Albrook. Also, um, the island we came for, from, is down to our bottom left. Um, Kafka's tower, by the way, is up here. Okay. Um, so, Gilomantis and such, I'm just going to use Ice 2, see how it does on them. I'll be using a lot of powerful magic just to get through these. I mean, I'll still be using powerful mag magic beforehand, but you know what I mean. Um, I believe I'm still in the back row. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. So, the guide says we should check out, um... Zen. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, Zen is up here. Well, okay. Oh. This does not look like a good time, if I'm be honest with you. And trust me, I am the master of good times, so I can tell you, not looking like one. Um, let's see, how does this affect everyone? Okay, oh, that's very nice. Um, so yes, we won't be able to use Ice Tool all the time, but for the time being, we should be good. Um, so, up... Uh, It's a tough world out here, which is why I really should have, um, well, actually, we didn't have Sirs before, so you probably didn't have the ability to, um, go and train her. Oh, the other one died so easily. Okay, here we go. So, Zen is down here. It's not very much of, uh, anything, but... Here we go. So, Zen is having a little bit of a problem. Uh, so, let's help out our good friend Luna. S Luna! Hey, Sears! Let's head it in! Wait! If I move, the whole house will collapse. First, save the child that's in there. I can hold this up forever, so uh, get on with the... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually save our game position. So, there's a lot of cool enemies and items in here. Truthfully, I should have, um... So... I should not speed up time. Okay. I found this on the web. For no hey Siri, what's eaten away if I move the road? Oh, the last first... no Siri, go away. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't hear my mom talking to me, do I? Oh, anyways, um, so we get the heel rod, which honestly I could have gone without. Um, so I think I'm just gonna. I like using ice too a lot, but it really is. Everything's like kind of weak to it, so um, yeah. This is not a good time for this to be happening. Okay, so the pearl rod—that's holy elemental attacks, which um, holy hey, holy elemental attacks are amazing. I am going to run away. I cannot run away. 
Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so, um, what we're going to do is not do that, okay, we cannot leave, um, I have to deal with what I've started. In fact, I am. Um, I'm gonna go back for a second. Um, instead of everything, we're gonna put some surprisingly running shoes on you, just so you'll go faster. Actually, I probably shouldn't have picked up that heel rod. I don't really need it. Why are there so many scorpions in this house? Jesus. Um, so, the pro rod is basically exactly what I was looking for. Oh, and a tincture, I guess. That's nice. More importantly, I kind of should have... Ooh, okay. Um, the PM Stalkers, they, um, exist. Let's see what the guide has to say about them. Okay, so, um, basically, they're gonna drain me, which is honestly kind of unfortunate, but they are all dying anyways, so. Uh, they also die to fire. Anyways, since I was so diligent in my studies of putting running shoes on these nerds, um, yeah. So, for that, we get three magic points, a level, a GP, and surprisingly, not a weapon or anything, which is honestly kind of disappointing. Um, so, um, I should probably be doing this later, but, you know me, um, okay, here we go. So, now we have to go fight some scorpions. If I can actually make it out alive, that is. I cannot make it out alive. We, um, really should have thought this through. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not gonna make it out alive. That's no time, because we're gonna get randomly encountered. <sighs> but, anyways, so... I should probably just check. Okay, so, yeah. So you die. So, basically, now I've got an idea of what exactly we should be doing. So, um, aka, put on running shoes so we get faster, and let's go. I probably should have taken off the drainer because it's really going to make unnecessary attacks sometimes. Sometimes, you may be asking? I don't actually know <laughs> when those sometimes are, but ooh boy, do they happen sometimes. Anyways, so um, basically what I want to do is... Grab all the items that could be useful. Okay, these items. Not that though, that's a monster in the box. For You get a magicite for defeating these guys. So, um, by the way, I never got to explain what a magicite does. Um, 
uh, a magicite, just like the basic item that you can get from those slimes, um, is a Let me just check. Um, can I run? Yeah, okay. So, um, basically, now that we've grabbed the child, um, we just have to escape, which, in honesty, is probably easier said than done. Um, let's just hope that a fire will kill him. A fire did not kill him. Gosh dang it. Don't I love being attacked? Yeah, okay. Um... Okay, here we go. <laughs> now we are immune to um, status effects. We're also doomed for that battle, so if you are um, just really bad at fighting, well then I have good news for you. Um... We just have to make it out of here alive. Easier said than done, of course, but you know what? <sighs> I thought there was something better in there. Okay. Anyways, yeah, Magicite will summon a random Esper to go fight with you. Um, they're useful, but they're also luck-based. They could summon literally everything. Oh, I don't think we'll have enough time. Well, maybe. I just gotta hope to get lucky. Uh, just let me leave. I wanna go. I wanna go, please. I have hasting. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, um, yep. Please, 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 just let me go, just let me go, just let me go, okay, I'm gonna grab this healed rod, just because I can, no, okay, wait, and then this house falls apart, what was Sabin doing? You might be wondering. I don't know. I bet it's explained in the lore. But anyways, we now have my bro here. Luna, you're alive. <laughs> but of course, you think a minor thing like the end of the world is going to do me in? He right. So, um, Celeste cries. I thought everyone was gone. I'd given all up all hope, but fortunately I was wrong. Now with them, they're all alive. We need to find everyone, then. Um, so Sabin, he... He's useful in the sense that, you know, he... He'll, um... How, do I, how am I supposed to phrase this? He's not going to be useful for the next thing that we'll be doing, but after that, we should be good. Oh, also, if you hadn't bought that Esper here, which I actually strongly suggest you have, only just juicy, got any juicy gossip, that guy will sell it to you for 10 GP, which is very cheap if you don't mind me saying.
Um, so, now, we're gonna get this off. Actually, well, we're gonna to give her one earring back, if I can figure out where the earrings went. Um, Sabin, of course, will be getting the Genji glove, because I mean, well, actually, no, he'll be getting the back, black belt, but I don't even mind. Um, and, do I really not have a ribbon, or an Agus a jewel ring? Um, huh. Okay, in fact, I don't have a thing. Do you sell such thing that I acquire about? You, um... Yeah, yeah, I guess you do. So, um, also, that's a thing that exists. Everyone's pretty, you know, loose about everything. Um, so, we grab an amulet, wherever that thing went. Which, of course, we probably have, like, two of. Um, anyways, so Luna will get, you know, his optimal stuff. And we will head off. So, um, let's look at our map here. Because the place where we're going next is called Mobley's. I mean, you already know what Mobley's is. But the thing is that it is insanely far away. Very much so. So, you know. No, are you... Um, head around the certain trench, and you'll reach Nakia. Ship still sail from there. You will indeed no need to go to Nakia. Because, you know, like any other place, every, you know, town is going to have another new party member. Or maybe even two. Um, I probably messed up his, his first blitz back, and I already messed it up. You know, that's just how we know. This is going to be a fun time. I have now cast break on him. Um, really, again, I gotta get used to this. Um, also, I'm gonna single cure him. I mean, of course, Luna knows already a bunch of magic, but Sears does not. And I will tell you, that's gonna become a problem. Here we go. So, um... I forgot to equip Luna with a Esper. He probably has some other stuff that he has got to learn. Even if it's like one skill point each, we will be getting a new Esper out of this thing that we are doing right now. I also gotta check his, um... Wow, really? He doesn't know any of this stuff. Okay, um, so apparently Sabin sucks? I mean, okay, yeah, I guess he doesn't have anything cool. Um, also, this will hear you, but you know what? That's just how it be. Um, so basically, we have to move really far off, so get ready. Um, here we go. That's the only one I really know. Um, of course, this is going to attack all enemies, and hopefully none of them are going to absorb it. Yep, we're good. These guys are surprisingly weak when you think about it. Um, but of course, I'm not going to talk about that. Oh, Mesosaurs. It's good when you're not timed for these things, you know. Um, For some insane reason, neither of these two have any good source of healing, especially in Luna's case, which is surprising, because I swear I had Luna in my party for a while, um, but I guess, alas, no. Um, uh, Buffalax, I believe that, oh, finally, Steven's learned to cure. Uh, Delta Bug. I believe they have a weakness, but I can't remember it. Oh, now I remember what they do. Uh, Delta Bugs are weak to, uh, lightning or something. Luna is about to die, so we're going to try to fix that up a bit. 
There we go. So we're gonna head all the way up here. And truthfully, in honest, oh, okay. Um, of course. Uh, I believe you are weak to bolt, are you not? You are not weak to bolt. Um, I believe you are weak to fire. There we go. I believe that's actually an undead go, which is pretty interesting. In fact, I um wouldn't have thought that. Anyway, so we have a bunch of Phoenix down, and we have a bunch of sleeping bags, so, you know, whatever. So, here we go. Welcome to Mobley's. Um, there's some dogs. We'll be meeting a good friend. Well, first... Ah! Someone's coming! Um, the dogs go bark at us, and Mobley's, as you can see, got kind of decimated. So... Since the kid's an idiot, he showed us the exact way to get to the secret hideout of these people. Um, I wonder where we have to go. So, you're gonna have to fight your way in here, chumps. Wait! And our good friend, Harpy G, will walk out. Harpy G! Mama, are these your friends? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so glad to see that you're safe. I've missed you. Harpy G, come on, let's go. Unless we stop Kefka, all's lost. I... And Harpy G walks off. We will talk to these people. Our papas and mamas are gone. Everyone here calls Harpy G mama. A badly wounded story soldier passed away here in Mount Mobley's. Dwayne and Katarin are the oldest ones here. I saw Dwayne and Katarin. This is our village. You can't just walk in here and start barking out our orders. So, so, so basically, as I told you to remember, those two are the oldest ones here. Older than probably Terra. I think Terra is like 18. These guys are probably like 20. That is, I um, I can't find any longer. The very day the world fell, Kevin had turned some kind of beam on this town. Almost all the adults perished trying to save their children. And so... Yes. It's in this way! Protect the kids! Uh... Of course, the kids were no match, and... The parents fall. Papa, mama. That's pretty sucky, by the way. So, you know, kind of. It makes sense. I understand Harpy's thing. There were only children here. The moment I arrived, I felt needed. Dwayne! You can't take Harpy G away. D Dwayne, you're acting like a child. Dwayne. Please excuse him. It's just that if Harpy G goes, she takes with her the very speed of her survival. Man, you're guilting Harpy G. You guys are a bunch of meanies. I don't know why these kids need me, but they made me feel things I've never felt before. I mean, I sense this, I lost my will to fight. In fact, you have gained a better will to fight, but you just don't understand it. I can honestly say that I don't know what's going on inside of me, and the more I try to understand it, the less inclined I am to fight. So, um, first of all, why the heck is there a camp like a... a, 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 a I can't remember what it's called, a fireplace inside of a cave. All the smoke is going to come out of there and like suffocate everyone, but I guess I gotta be the one who talks about all these things, because I'm a loser. Anyways, um, when we leave, Harpy G sits there looking sad. Run! Foon Papa's coming! <gasps> Foon Papa! Oh no! So, um, um, some kind of demon or something called Foon Papa attacks this village normally. Foon Papa is an ancient demon who was released when the world was undone. So, Foon Baba, Harpy G, 
will morph, um, and she knows a lot of magic, so we're going to, we're gonna lose her very soon, we're not even gonna get her until very much later, so I suggest you just do stuff. Anyways, so Fumbaba cannot be hurt. I don't know if you were not aware of that, but yeah, he, he can't be hurt. Um, and I think he can't be hurt. I, I mean, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, obviously, you're supposed to die here. It's one of those bosses where, you know, you have to die to succeed. Um, so, another one of those bolt twos should do me in, so the real battle can start. Um, yeah, also, Terra doesn't have a weapon, so she just punches them. Anyways, yeah. There goes Terra. Annihilated. I'm just supposed to lose this fight. <laughs> oh no, I died! Uh, so, um, our two heroes here. Uh, okay. So, here it comes. He has 28,000 health, and both of us are pretty much sucky. So, as you can see... I, um, might be a little underdeveloped for this, but I'll still keep trying. So, um, yeah, that's doing all that stuff without... Okay, don't use thunder on him. Oh, no. Oof, that, that really hurt. Um, do you have reflect? You don't. How about stop? You have scan. So, um, yeah. Let's cast poison on this guy. Healing will be kinda slow. Ooh, maybe we could summon an Esper. See, I probably should have done this at a later time, because neither of our two characters are honestly that good. So, we're gonna use something that I've never used before. We're gonna actually randomly summon a Magicite. Unless, you know, the game says otherwise, which, mm, can't stop me. I mean, you can. I don't know where the magicite is. Fire, fire. Oh, yeah. Let's summon a random magicite to go attack this guy, and hopefully assume that it isn't something bad. Oh. Oh. Please don't heal him. Okay, that was nice. Oh, um, ow. Uh, so... I'm just gonna slowly, you know, like, do this. I should probably use an X potion. It's 250, he's gonna be able to do that in one. Yeah. Actually, there is something I can do. <sighs> I forgot about this. So, we will now be not be able to heal. Oh, well, the second I do that, of course, he uses Blowfish. And like, like a total freaking jerk. Okay, well, yeah, so, um, Funbaba. Not really what I want, what I want to uh, fight right now. Gotta be honest with you. Okay, really? Really? This is how this is how it's gonna be, huh? Okay. Oh, that is indeed how it's gonna be. Um Yeah. So, uh, if uh, there's anything I suggest doing before it's, uh, not failing this minigame. You know what, this is actually a failed recording. Well, I'll still post it. But this will be a shorter episode than usual. Because I'm not feeling it today. See you next time when I get back to that point. Well, we'll meet.
Terra later, but know that that is where you can meet Terra. See you later.